My name is Tina Smith and I am the proud wife of Major Michael Smith. He is currently serving in Iraq and has been there since September 1st of 2010. We have known each other since middle school. Uh, we went to middle school, uh, high school together in Sheboygan and then we both went to Whitewater, UW-Whitewater and started dating our senior year and um, have been together ever since and we've had quite the journey. We first uh, after college moved to Indiana, we were there a couple years, then his job, uh, civilian job, took him down to Florida, then he went active duty, uh, he was deployed to Iraq when the war first started, and then shortly after his return home, we made the decision to try to get back to Wisconsin, and then um, about two years ago, was reassigned to the 412th Civil Affairs Battalion in Columbus, Ohio. And so we have been living apart <laughs> since then. He comes home weekends and holidays and whenever he can. The hardest part is just the uh, everyday things that need to be done around the house. We've had people in the community support us with uh, snow removal, our yard, um, upkeep, all of those kinds of things. Because obviously with three little ones and working, that's it's hard to do all of those things. I am a fifth grade special education teacher out in luxembourg Casco School District. My principal has been very supportive. She knows I'm going through a lot. And, and, it, um, and she herself has family in the military, so she, you know, she understands what I'm going through. What advice would you give to other moms out there who their husbands might be leaving for the very first time. Mm -hmm. Well, as a mom, you gotta put your kids first. You know, um, the house, how the house looks, how the yard looks, they don't care about that. They just need you right now. Our kids are phenomenal. So in terms of, um, you know, just worrying about their emotional being and all this during that time, they have been great. They're giving up a lot. You know, my, um, my husband's given up, I'm sorry, <laughs> um, this year, uh, our youngest daughter, I mean, at the age of two, you make so many changes, and he, if he, he's like, I don't know what I'm coming home to, I said, you have no idea. <laughs> um, she, she is high energy, and she is all about exploring the world around her, and, you know, her vocabulary, her talking, I mean, he listens to her on the phone, and he's like, oh my she just can't believe the things she's saying. So, um, you know, just remember all the sacrifices that they're making and, you know, they're there, that they're giving up their time with their family, their jobs, their lives, all the luxuries of your home and all of those things. Um, all I can say is, you know, when you see a flag, when you see a bumper sticker on a car, just think about that. Say a prayer for that family and just remember that, you know, they're over there fighting for our freedom.